Good morning, everybody. It's Brett, your thankful carnivore on this Friday morning. It's the 27th of September. It's today's thankful carnivore report. I appreciate you guys coming and checking it out. Uh, sorry, couldn't be here yesterday, and I'm going to get right into the reasons why. Um, my dad's not doing very well again, and uh, he's had a couple of really bad days, and his quality of life is deteriorating. Um, his dementia is getting worse, and uh, I won't go into describing all the ways that's manifested itself, but um, it's taking its toll on uh, my mother, whose health is very good. She's 81, strong as a bull, got an iron will unlike anybody I've ever met in my life, and, uh, but she's wearing down. Uh, my father woke up in extreme pain a couple of nights ago. Uh, come to find out, he's got a really bad case of gout in his arm. And uh, he had to, like, you know, one in the morning, wake up in agony, go to the, it, they had to go to the emergency room and get him squared away before the dialysis people would let him come have his dialysis. And he had to get that accomplished. I mean, because without the dialysis, it's game over. So this is what his world is now. And it's really, I, I, I feel so horribly bad for him because I can't imagine what that's like emotionally, what your mind is like, because your body is in this state of conflict at all times and his mind is not quite right now due to the dementia from type 2 diabetes well now he's he's straddling the line between type 2 and type 3 diabetes isn't he alzheimer's it's all avoidable that's the point that really i want to drive home here all of this was avoidable it need not have happened it need not have happened uh, you know, he's 81 years old and his body's in a constant, on a constant roller coaster. You know, dialysis, all oh, the system gets cleaned out, two days go by, or, the, you know, a day passes, has to go back for dialysis, and we get cleaned out, and it's a constant up and down. His metabolism is all over the place every day. And then, you know, then there's sunday and monday he doesn't have dialysis so there's two days there he doesn't have it and so you know so his his drop down is is two days more worth of lack of proper filtering of poisons from his body it's just horrible and there's nothing that can be done for it now the point is it didn't have to happen didn't have to be this way doesn't ever have to be that way for you. It damn sure won't be that way for me because I'm not going to consume sugar ever again. Not willingly. Somebody might force it down me and I'm too old to fight back, but that day's not here, is it? It's all about what we put into our mouths, folks, and the damage that we're willing, the prices we're willing to pay for what we put in our mouth, the price we pay now, and the price we pay down the road. And the choice is ours. Are we going to succumb to the stress of life and choose poorly? And then spend our last years in a cycle of managed suffering? Or are we going to spend our last years thriving and living life the best way possible? The choice is ours. Unfortunately, my father made a choice that he's now reaping the consequences for, and I, I, I wish there's nothing I could do about it. And it's very distressing to know that this has happened to your parent, and there's nothing you can do. Nothing. If I was there, there would be nothing I can do. It's just the situation is what it is. And... I pray that he has some good days because I want him to have some good days, but I'm afraid he's not going to have many more. And I don't say this, I say, I'm sad for him, but I want the world to know 
You don't have to do that to yourself. You don't have to be giving yourself insulin shots for 20 plus years because you're too much of a sugar addict to make the right decision. You don't have to do any of that. You don't have to manage your suffering. You can eliminate the root cause of it by changing what you put into your mouth. Please check out meatheals.com or justmeat.co. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Read the information. Learn how eating meat and drinking water can change your life for the better. I eliminated 40 plus years of mental illness eating meat and drinking water. Just imagine what you could accomplish. Eat your meat, my friends. Drink your water. Use your brain. Do the right thing. Make the healthy choices. And as always, be thankful. We'll see you tomorrow.